Okay, ready? Ah! I didn't know that that's what you meant! But that's what Arnold Schwarzenegger... What did Arnold Schwarzenegger say? So you have to go and use the shocking principle. The body is saying, look, I know all your tricks. I know you're gonna start first with bench press, and then I know you're gonna walk over to the chin-up bar and do chin-ups. I know that routine, and I am prepared for that. And if this chest knows that I'm gonna start with 135, and then I go to 225 and do 275, I'm gonna go and start now with 315, and I'm gonna do 20 reps with 315. And let's see if the pectoral muscle is used to that. So it's really this idea of muscle confusion, doing something novel, something new for your body to hopefully get more progress, get more gains. But the bigger question is actually how often should you be doing this? So lifting to actually confuse the muscle with something it wasn't expecting can be really powerful. But what if you started changing your workouts every week? So you'd certainly see some progress, but the problem is that without real consistency, you're gonna have a really hard time actually measuring if you're making progress. So what does this actually mean for you? It means structuring the shocking of your muscles. Because yes, novelty is really good, but in order to see the biggest muscle gains and the fastest muscle gains, it's gonna come through having something structured and consistent that you can measure that you're actually improving on for somewhere around three to four weeks. Now here's, for me, in my own experience, I, I find longer is better, because then you're having a longer time to be able to measure and track how you're progressing. So stick with a specific routine for somewhere around three to six weeks. Because in that time frame, that's gonna actually allow your body to be challenged, allow you to really get beyond the learning curve, and then have your body adapt and add muscle as you consistently and progressively get stronger with those lifts. But now what you actually might be wondering is that just changing the exercise or is there something more to it? Because that can actually get pretty overwhelming if you're talking about constantly changing up the exercises. So ideally, yes, I mean, it is changing the exercises, but even more than that is actually thinking about changing the number of sets you're doing, changing the number of reps that you're doing, changing the tempo that you're lifting, or even changing your rest periods. So what I wanna do for you is not just talk in the hypotheticals, I wanna actually give you something tangible that you can walk away with and apply to your program. So I'm gonna break down a phasing that you can actually plug and play into whatever exercise that that you're doing. So for phase one, this first phase is going to last you somewhere between four to six weeks. It's going to depend on how you feel. But like I said, if you can push it towards that six week mark, unless you see yourself plateau. So for this phase, you're going to be doing three to five sets per exercise. You're going to be doing anywhere between one to six reps in each set. And then you're going to have two to three minutes rest in between each set. Now for phase two, it's also going to last four to six weeks. You're going to have two to three sets per exercise. 12 to 20 reps per set, and zero to 30 seconds rest. So for phase three, it's also four to six weeks. You're gonna be doing three sets per exercise, eight to 12 reps per set, with 30 to 90 seconds rest. So when you actually learn how to shock your muscle properly through a structured plan, that's really where you're gonna to start to see the most results. But what's actually gonna allow you to build muscle faster and actually be able to burn fat is by following this long forgotten secret right up over here that's even more important than this. So as always, go get strong, but first just go give your kids a hug like I'm about to go do because I think family matters more. And I will see you over there on the next video.